This trail vision was many years in coming. When we first moved here, uh, I didn't really ride my bicycle much, and this was an industrial area. So it took quite a bit for people to see what might be here. I think when, when the trail first opened, there was this assumption that it was a recreational trail, but it quickly became apparent that it wasn't a recreational amenity, it was a community necessity because it's free to everyone. We're fortunate to be in Greenville, South Carolina, uh, one of the fastest growing counties in South Carolina. It is the largest county, uh, but that means we have a lot of stress on our infrastructure, our roads and highways and such. Uh, the, the walking and trail system is exactly what you need to help alleviate some of the stress on the highway system locally. People have discovered that it's an easy way to get back and forth between uh, a very bustling downtown and the areas where the many apartments are and that kind of thing. To do the things we still need to do for greater connectivity of our system so more people can share in the bike and walk and trail experience by being connected to it, to do that extra, to provide funding for bridges over major roadways so that the system is a safer system for families to use. To transform a community, uh, you have to have things that everyone can enjoy, everyone in the community can benefit from, and a trail is just that. It is something everyone can use and benefit in their own way. I was chairman of this area of Anchorage for 20 years, approximately, give or take a couple days. My main concern is the bike path that we'd like to see go across Lake Otis at 47th. That's the trail that leads up there. Originally, that was a two-lane road each way. Now it's a four-lane going each way. And my fear is we're going to have some children killed because we didn't care enough, or whoever didn't care enough to provide money to put the bridge across there. It's going to happen. And when I came on the assembly in 1991, this is one of my projects. I wanted to get this done. And now we're dealing with 2021, there was never the money to do this. We don't have the money here locally. But if we can get the federal dollars to come in and take care of this, we need it and the kids need it. We've had a lot of success with the development of the Prisma Health Swamp Rabbit Trail system. It's grown into a 22 mile network now. The Swamp Rabbit started as an original idea of just converting an old rail bed between two towns, Traveler's Rest and the city of Greenville. But once the use exceeded the total population of Greenville County, we realized there was more demand and more necessity from a public transportation standpoint. Our investments are to try to get one conversation going in a state or a region about what trails are for these rural communities, small towns, and even mid-sized towns, but also how they link together to create sort of a network of trails. Trails are such an authentic way of experiencing your community, on foot, uh, by bicycle. I think it really can make a community feel proud, feel encouraged, hopeful. The more connections that you can make. I always say that my lifetime goal is to make as many connections to our trail system from our neighborhoods as possible. One great thing about the Connecting America's Active Transportation System Act is that you're rewarding communities that have done the right thing. Uh, communities that have already invested in walking and bike trails like the Swamp River Trail in Greenville that has tremendously impacted our, our economic development of the area, our recreation for the area. We're rewarding those communities who have already made that investment by giving them extra funds to connect things together better seamlessly and provide bridges over major roadway systems to make them a safer system. Uh, that's going to take dollars that we simply don't have. It lets us do the things we need to complete this system and make it more effective than ever.